Hello, and welcome to episode 47 of the Rogue Hunters podcast. I'm joined here this week with uh, Brian. What up? And the Waves. Whoa. <laughs> Wake your ass up, Waves. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not happy yet because the McNuggets haven't come, but... Bro, I'm still ordering them. They're on their way. <laughs> Send me some, man. They're, they're going to be on here. I got some hot Cheetos in there right now. But... Yeah, share with everyone. Come on. Right? Man, we hungry, too. Get that 40-piece with the two large fries. I'll take some fries, too. Bro, no wonder fucking America's so fat. This shit's so cheap. And give me a chicken uh, chocolate shake, please. <laughs> Did you know just a 10-piece McNugget is $4? That's expensive. I mean, right. I could go for the 40 piece though. I was daydreaming right. for a second. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> they don't have the 20 piece. I just got like a 10 piece meal. It's like I can get fries and shit. But they don't have the 20 and then piece. I got by another you? 10 piece. Well, it's not like on here on DoorDash. Oh. Like it's over there if I went over there, but like I can't go over there right now. Someone, someone goofing up. Uh, but yeah, my name is uh, Snickle, and we we got a good podcast for you this week. Uh, we're going to be talking about, <laughs> I feel like we're going to be talking about this till it comes out, but we're going to be talking about the GTA Trilogy this week, uh, Destroy, All to- uh, Destroy All Humans 2 remake, and then uh, some more Uncharted movie info, because it's funny we talk about stuff, and then more info gets leaked like the day after, and then it gives me depression, because then we look dumb. Um, it always right? happens. Because, well... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm dumb, but, you know, we can move on from that. Uh, I found the 20 piece. Hell nice. yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're more on the food right now than the, than the podcast. But no, any articles for anything that we discuss will be uh, linked down in the description below. And also linked down in the description below will be all of our social medias and everything like that. And if you want us to discuss any topics in particular... You can either tweet at any of us, uh, tweet at the Rogue Hunters, leave a comment in the comments below, uh, go in the discords, or any way to get in touch with us. Um, it's all linked down in the description below. So go give us all a follow and stuff like that. With that out of the way, let's let's get into the best topic of the week that we talk about every week. I just wanted to tell you guys, what's that? food is now ordered. Hell can, yeah, well, can you keep congrats. us updated with the uh, where it is? I yeah, will. All right, nice. It says it will be arriving in twenty to thirty minutes. Huh? So. They they gotta kill the chickens or something to make it like probably. Yeah. They got some through the little Shit, chicken. I can, there, I can drive know? there in ten minutes. Yeah, I mean, you you gonna get fresh uh, chicken nuggets there? I hope so. You better. So let's talk about this infamous topic: the games we've been playing. Um, since I introduced Brian first, I think I don't really remember. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll ask Brian the first question. Hey, Brian, what have you yes. been playing this week? Mm, I've played a couple things. I made uh, some progress in Hades. Nice. Uh, I made so the I actually made so the boss battle of Hades. I've died all three times, but I'll get them. Hey. But I've made it further in the game than I ever have, so I'm happy with that. How? I know that that game is, like, you have to play it, like, over and over again, but, like, how long does it take time-wise? Oh, uh, what, like a run? Well, like a run and then, like, to get the Platinum. Would you ever? Well, I don't know how long it takes to get the Platinum, because I don't have the Platinum. Well, if you had to uh, estimate from the trophies and playing the game. Uh, is there a guide out for it? I don't know. I I'm checking the... right now if there is. I, I thought there was. I thought there was, but I don't think there is now. No, there's no guide out. At least not on PSMP. Might be on PlayStation trophies because that's where all the god guides are at. I just found but, a uh, terrifying PSN profile. What uh, form? Huh? A form? No, like a profile. Like oh. An account. Oh, yeah. There's a lot this of got panties as their, This man got panties as their picture. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> you gonna get a virus. <laughs> your mom's gonna walk in on you <laughs> that that account is injecting a trojan into your computer as we speak so you should probably get, get out of there i think wish it had a trojan 
All right. So how uh, how long how long does a run take, and how uh, long do you it think it depends. would take you to get uh, the platinum? I was curious about that because isn't it like you like beat the final boss? Well, like you quote unquote beat the final boss, and then you have to like some stuff happens, and then you get sent back to the beginning. And then you have to yeah. Beat, then like, you got to go through the run again. again. Yeah, and you got to do so many runs to do so i don't know how many runs it takes but i could go from the there's like four sections okay Mm -hmm. and then once you get through the four sections you got to fight hades Mm -hmm. uh i could run through a section all four sections at all maybe in about 20 30 minutes it's not bad and all that um so it's not too bad it's uh more like uh collecting stuff okay um and then you got to do, like, fulfill prophecies. Like, you get a thing called a boom, mm-hmm. which is what other gods give you, like, to help you out, you know? Mm-hmm. And it, each one, you have to at least uh, get it once, and now go towards the prophecy. And once you fill the prophecy list, you get a trophy for that section. Uh, then there's these elixirs that you can give to the gods, and you'll get, like, another boon or something. Uh, you got to... Uh, fully upgrade weapons and all that so it's not that hard it's just a little time consuming but it's really addicting once you start playing yeah i could see Um, how yeah so i really like the game but i made it to my uh the boss phase and i thought i beat him on my first try and then he like regained all his health and i had to fight him i'm like damn it uh but i'll get there i'm doing better and better each time yeah, um, I feel like it's like any I mean I haven't played it but I feel like it'd be like any game like the more the more you play it the more comfortable you feel about exactly. it like regardless of what game you play racing game shooter or whatever like I have my own favorite weapons that I like to try to get and the boons are all random so you never know what the hell you're going to get in a playthrough gotcha. or in a run gotcha <laughs> sounds uh, like fun though yeah it is I like it um other than that, that went, that's going pretty well. I didn't lock any trophies this week, but I've made it further than I ever have. So I'm happy about that. So I call that good progress. Yeah. Um, then I would have to say I made a little bit of progress in Death Stranding. Got through a couple more, uh, another chapter of the game. Okay. And unlocked a few more things. Uh, what else did I get? Like, I think I'm on chapter three now. Yeah, from your or, trophies, or, it looks like it's... Almost ep- done with Chapter 3, yeah. Ep- episode 3. Yeah, Episode 3. Uh, yeah, like, I unlocked a few of the random trophies, mm-hmm. so I'm happy about that. Uh, I've been actually collecting the memory cards as I find them, or the USB sticks. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, emails, and, like, I, hit, I write, like, 22 emails, I got 33 interviews done. You get that as, like, you deliver stuff and all that. I almost have the well-traveled trophy. I'm about halfway done with that one. So that's doing good progress. Uh, Borderlands 3, I made the most progress. I'm on the final DLC right now. And this game will be done. All I got left is collect 50 certain iridium rocks. Mm -hmm. I've done 25 as we speak, actually. So I'm halfway done with that trophy. And then I got to kill like the final boss. And, or our boss, and I'm done with the game. So you'll you'll probably be done after we end the podcast. Probably, I'm Later playing tonight. now as we speak. Just yeah. I'm farming the what I need. Mm-hmm. But other than that, that's all I've been playing. Uh, so not a lot of trophies this week, but a lot of progress in games. Yeah, I was just looking back on. Uh, I was looking back on your list, and I was like, Fuck, Red Dead. Um, so. Yeah. Um, when I finish up, when I, when I end up finishing up at my, a few of my games, maybe we can hop on sometime this week, like one night. All right. Yeah, that and sounds we'll, good. We'll get the, we can get the grand, or we can, I, I mean, we can do whatever we got, we could do the grand prix races and then, uh, try to organize something for everyone else. Because I think the only thing, honestly, that we have to do or that you have to do that, like we can do is mm-hmm. free for all trophy, uh, team trophy, um, the public enemy trophy. There's three in the base game. Then you got right. the rest of the co-op missions, uh, which are pretty easy. Uh, but we have to go back and play the river again. <laughs> base one. <laughs> God damn it, the fucking river. And then... Uh, Sickle fell into the river on purpose on me. 
I, I believe the, it. The river one, man, like, no, I, I didn't. I didn't. I swear to God that the, the, the barge was being like docked and I got off of it and my guy tripped on it, his shoelace and then I died. It was right at the, you know, what's the bullshit first about one. that. The NPCs could like all the enemies could fucking run into that water and not die. But I did. So, you know, that's right? pretty cool. But yeah, well, we can do, we can try that. But then I think the only other thing that like we can do is without having like an extra without having like four people is um the kills with red and pig josh mm -hmm. um the the grand prix ones there's three of them and then i think that's it i mean you could do like the posse points one but right that's yeah i've done that by myself before yeah that, that just takes time but yeah man that's man, I, every time i look at this game i'm like oh it's so good <laughs> i have so much but I still have left to do in that game. Oh. Like well, multiplayer wise also. Well, join well, then, us, Waves. Get on with us. Hell yeah, more to marry buddy. I already told you I would. I know. You trying to play with us, yeah. partner? You're all right. You ready to go back to Mexico? <laughs> so, I felt like that was racially motivated. What you just <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> What's he say? Somebody's the trying to join your posse. <laughs> <laughs> Someone Remember, must... wants to join your posse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now when you play Red Dead 2, you gotta pay to get a posse. <laughs> <laughs> they said shark card. Someone wants to join your posse. <laughs> <laughs> it was so intense. That shit would always scare you when someone... <laughs> when it would yell at you. You're like, bro, calm down. Calm down. But I'm not sure what game I'm gonna take. What's gonna take Borderlands? Borderlands three spot on the weekly list yet? Yeah, you definitely got. You got plenty gotta of options. Do, um, gotta do Yakuza like a dragon. Yeah, I mean, well, if it lands on the mult, if it lands on it, then that's the game. I mean, you got yeah. you have plenty of stuff. Like you, you could do like Star Wars, Ken uh, Kenna. You could do like. Well, Sly. what I've been doing, I've just been uh, just doing a random number on what games I ah, have. Oh, okay, and... nice. Let that take the spot. This way, I don't have to choose, and those games are being done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's fair enough. I think my mom's, like, cooking, like, fucking peppers right now. You gonna cry? I'm probably gonna sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to make sure if I heard you crying, like, everything was gonna be okay. Right. <laughs> I'm holding in the sneeze. Let it out. No. Let It'll it be all okay, out. Waves. It'll I'm be okay, buddy. Let it out. I'm a fake sneeze, so you sneeze. <laughs> I can real sneeze. <laughs> real sneeze. <laughs> it's like those girls that, like, if you do, like, a fake throw-up sound around them, they're they, like, they start throwing up. Or yeah, whatever. they start gagging. They're like, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, did you know they say that, like, they say that with girls, if you, like, yawn around them, it makes them yawn. What well, happens with anybody? That happens with anyone. No, I heard it was, like, more with girls. I don't think, I've okay. never heard that in my I life. i heard that one either. <laughs> I, I, Where are y'all been, mean, living I've under heard, a rock? I've heard about people, like, if you see someone yawn, you're more likely to yawn. No, I heard it's and more, dog, like, it contagious with girls. <laughs> Okay, so like, oh, well, you're teaching us something new today. Hey, man, you know. <laughs> I don't think that's true. That's, 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 so that's my job, but... you know. I'd I be teaching. No big deal. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Y'all yeah. look it up. Can someone fact check Snickle in the in the comments? Please. I mean, you guys probably won't, but you know. Please. Oh, yeah, I never checked to see if we had any comments from the last video. My bad. You said it's more contagious with dogs? Huh? Dogs will do it too if you fucking yawn. They'll yawn too. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know. Oh. I, I'm just saying oh. I heard that. I don't know if that's true. I'm just saying I've I've heard that before. So I've never heard that. I'm just throwing oh. it out. You know, maybe maybe yeah. it sticks. I hey. don't know. Who knows? Um. Oh, I'm at uh my completion percentage is at uh fifty seven percent now. What is that? Fifty seven percent completion. For, hey, you're on PSMP. There. You're getting there. You're getting back up there. Yeah, I was at 70. 
Then I played out, start all these games with Snickle and all that. So, hey, well, you know, <laughs> it'll get back up there. <laughs> nah, sure it's not it Snickle's fault. It's my own fault. <laughs> All right, guys, let Snickle go next because my food's about to get here. Damn. All right, I'll go next. Ah. I'll, go, I'll go next just to pass ah. the time for waves. Um, But I, I haven't been playing too much. My completion percentage has been going up as well, Brian. I, I passed, I recently passed 61%, which is actually Ooh. pretty pretty crazy because I, I usually would be below 60% like all Hell the time. Yeah, man. Been below 60% nice. for like years. But, uh, it went down a little bit because so I guess I'll talk about what I've been playing. So um I ended up finishing up basically everything for Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PS3. Okay. Single player wise. The only other thing I have to do for the single player is I have to do the Kiflam trophy, which I'm waiting to do on stream, because it takes like it's literally gonna take me like a whole stream to probably do it. Um okay. and then there's another trophy called Three Man Army that you have to survive three minutes with a three star wanted level with all three characters, which I'm going to save for last. Um, other than that, I got all of my uh, platinum awards. So, or I got the 30 platinum awards for the trophy, which I think I got before last week. Um, yeah, I got that a while ago. And then the, the only other thing I have to do for the base game is get level or rank a hundred, which I'm at rank like 96 or 97 right now. So pretty close. Um, but the big thing is obviously like finishing up the heist um that's what we're trying to do so we got up to the um a series funding heist we're on the a series funding heist which is the second to last one so there's a series funding and then pacific standard so we have to do two more heists but in the meantime we went back to do um the prison break heist because basically leon and waves have to do the prison break heist because there's a trophy for um giving 25 percent across the board to all players in a heist finale okay so they have to fund a heist and then give 25 percent out to everybody for a trophy as well so we have to replay the first four player heist um two extra times so i'm hoping uh like two more nights and we'll be done this because honestly the heist they're so to, for me at least they are fun to play i haven't played them in a while i find them to be fun to play um to go back and play and i i kind of forgot how to do some of them i i did them so many times back in the day but i've like completely forgot how to play them so it's kind of fun but um yeah i think it takes probably on average maybe like an hour to an hour and a half to do like the heist if if like from beginning to end if you don't like mess anything up so keyword um if you don't mess anything up so um with two, we have to do two, more, well, three more, and then a finale for one. So I'm thinking it'll be like four more hours to to get done. Um, but then after that, I'll have all the trophies there, and then the only thing I have to do is to is earn 25 platinum medals, which you get from like heist finales, which Waves and I were farming for a little bit, and I'm probably okay. close to like 20 because I've been getting them as we've been playing with like Leon and everyone and doing all the other heists. Um, so then after that, the only thing I have to do is spend $8 million on vehicles, which someone did the math for it. And you only need 3.4 million to spend 8 million. Cause you basically can like buy a car and then sell it and then buy it and sell it. And you end up only needing three point like four million between bot, like continuously buying and selling it to spend 8 million. Cause you get your money back. So, um, I think I'm at like one point, I'm like halfway there, basically one point like six or seven. So. It, it, it getting there uh, that's all i'm trying to say it getting there it's a process but i'm hoping to have that done by by next week um but i'm done like i'm basically done the single player in that game very nice and then i started up this week um a new game because i wanted to do the multiplayer because i just like thought about it randomly but it's a uh, kill zone mercenary on the playstation vita um the main reason behind this was because there was I saw a comment it was like a few weeks ago that like the servers for this apparently went down in May of 2020 and then they got brought back up so I was like okay yeah I should probably do that um so the servers yeah. don't go down again <laughs> so Maybe. I hopped I hopped on there and did that um I I I intend on playing this cuz you can play Killzone Killzone Mercenary on the PSTV 
Um, I do intend on playing it. Like when I get around to actually playing the single player, I want to play it on the PSTV because I'll probably make guides for it, like collectible guides and stuff. Um, okay. But for the multiplayer, I'm doing it on the Vita because A, it's easier <laughs> for the time being, and B, um, there's a trophy where you have to complete 100 multiplayer game rounds, which sounds like a lot, and it is, but they made a mode, or they made a DLC that you can get called Bot Zone, and it basically counts towards multiplayer rounds. So you can just continuously play this Bot Zone uh, game mode over and over again. And then when you think you've done it 100 times, which you can check in your stats how many wins you have, so mm -hmm. you have to, like... You don't have to win 100 times, you just have to play it. So when you think you've gotten 100 rounds played, you then load into a multiplayer game and then it gives you your your trophy. So, And then you can get all the other like multiplayer trophies in the bot zone as well. So we ended up doing basically all of the multiplayer trophies other than the 100 rounds and then I have to get down, or I have to get another trophy for shooting down 10 uh, Vanguard drones. But other than that, we we did the all the multiplayer for it, so... Probably the one other trophy we should do together. I just remembered this like the other day. The ghost one? Is um is one where you die to like one of the Vanguard capsules like dropping or something like that. Yeah, I was trying to get that when I was playing bot zone, but like they are in such random spots that it's hard to like get it to land on you. But I was reading a guide for it. I was reading NCS fans guide on it. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I want to say if I remember there being something like and do this in multiplayer or something like that. So it says that it's, it says that it can be earned on the mission lights out late in the mission. You'll have to defend a transformer from multiple waves of hell gas right when the section begins. Um, they'll send a Vanguard capsule containing a porcupine. The capsule will land in the back left corner behind the transformer. So, it seems like you kill the first Hellgas, and then you run back there, and then you get you get uh, smashed. Because I was looking at trying to get that, because you can get, like, other trophies while you're doing the bot zone, like, interrogating an enemy, and, um, I tried to get that ghost trophy, but it didn't work, which is to brutal melee an enemy from behind while using the ghost vanguard, but I, I did oh, it, and yeah. it didn't work, so, I don't, I guess some of them work, and some of them don't, I don't know, but... Basically, right now, I have my Vita running while I'm playing games, and I, I'm playing a 4v4 mode, and I load in, and then the three guys on my team are, like, the highest-ranked bots, and then the four guys on the other team are the lowest-ranked bots, and they basically clap them, and the round ends in, like, six minutes, and then I just rinse and repeat. So, it getting done, but it's a process. But that was random, and then I guess the big news of the week kind of big news uh, i mean whatever um <laughs> i did the new york minute hardcore in max Payne 3 nice congrats I, nickel thank you i i finally finished um i had a run after the podcast last week it was like on what day was it like monday or tuesday when i sent you guys that video i think it was monday died in like a bullshit way again game completely broke on me as usual <laughs> So uh, I put it down for a few days, picked it back up on Thursday, gave it another try, and ended up getting it done. So it took me, I think technically it took me like seven attempts to to get it done. Um, so did that, and then last night I played through the old school uh, difficulty, which is basically you don't get last stand. And then as we're speaking, I have the game paused on Chapter 4, playing through on Hardcore, which is my last trophy. So I will be done this game by tomorrow so i will be done by the time the podcast officially is released which so will there be a stream tomorrow is what you're saying yeah i'm gonna stream tomorrow night to to get it done or when i get it done i'll probably stream this and then i'll probably try to get that kiflam trophy in in gta 5 as well so but oh man max Payne 3 has been a process for sure i I'm, I'm glad it's done but i feel like i'm gonna have the same issue that i have when i finish every game where i'm just not gonna know what to do after like i've already been like talking about like what game i'm gonna play what i'm gonna do like i i don't even know um so i ended up downloading um 
Max Payne 1 and uh, Twisted Metal Black on my PS4 to play because I, I should just get the series done. And then I got some DLC to do and everything. But I'm preparing myself for the the mental void of like, I don't know what to do with my time because I've invested so much into this. <laughs> what? It's never dead, next. We are going to do the Never Dead multiplayer. You're right, you're right, you're right. We also got to do Bioshock 2 at some point. Because it's been like 10 years. Then all those Madden games, you know. So. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> chill. <laughs> now, we, we have we have a few games that we got we got planned. And then Brian and I got some games planned. We, we got stuff. Oh, yeah. Maybe you can finally do the secret game that you've been teasing for like months now. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> No, we'll probably we'll probably end up doing it. But then we also have to do we now that I'm doing Killzone Mercenary, it reminded me that we still have to do Killzone Shadowfall at some point. So you know, it's like a whole process. So I don't know. We'll we'll figure something out. I'm just trying to mentally like prepare myself because I feel like I've invested my life into Max Payne 3, my gaming life into Max Payne 3 over the past like how long has it been? Month and a half. I mean next game for you is gonna be GTA five, no? Yeah, plat wise will be GTA five, but I may I may end up doing like Max Payne one and uh, Twisted Metal Black if we if we don't end up finishing up the heist DLC. I may end up doing that. Why well, I, I may I may well we're not going to be doing that until like Wednesday anyway. So I may end up doing um like Max Payne one and Twisted Metal Black on like uh Tuesday and Wednesday or something. I don't know. I think Black has a platinum. I'm not sure though. I gotta look it up. Well, once I get once I get Max Payne three done, I'm fine. I for some reason my oh it, it's a hundred percent. I just looked it up. That sucks. Max Payne is also a hundred percent. I think. Yeah, yeah, they both are kind of stupid. Um, I guess my mind has been so like focused on which like you guys know I don't care about milestones, but <laughs> I was like, bro, Max Payne three is right there. I guess I probably should just get it as my two hundredth platinum. That I feel like I haven't been able to like play anything else because of that, which is stupid, but whatever. But the pain and suffering will end um, very soon, very very soon. The but maximum pain. The maximum pain, and then I'll do Max Pain one, and then I will never have to play Max Pain again unless they do a everyone's like oh, i wish they would port that and i'm like are you are, do you really though like do you really because i don't want them to <laughs> no i don't want them to either <laughs> like y'all keep talking about port max pain 3 like you sure you want that like you don't want that trust me don't worry they'll port it and then it'll make it be like stupid easy no the, well i yeah they they might do that but like my i would, would have an issue with like them porting it and then they're the game already has so many issues as is like glitches that i've run into that I don't even want to imagine what would happen if they ported it, like how many issues would pop up. Like You're the only person I've ever seen have issues like that. Well? Like I never had issues like that. When James was playing it, he never had issues like that. Brian, did you have issues like that? Nope, none. Well, as I always say, it must well, I guess James didn't have it, but it must have been the streamer curse. And I try to play it off stream so that I didn't have the curse, but it seems it has transferred. And I don't like it. <laughs> uh, but, can I interrupt you for a second? Yeah, sure. Borderlands 3 is done. Hey, all the way? Yep. How I just dare you it. play games while we record the podcast? Oh, like we <laughs> haven't done it before. <laughs> Damn, Brian finished up the whole game. Damn, I'm happy that my friends are finishing games. Well, I was going to say... What have you been playing, Waves? Because right. been, you, you got to start here. finishing things, right? You finishing things up? No. What you mean? <laughs> I've had, like, you... no time to play games. My greatest video game accomplishment in the last few weeks is that I bought the Midnight Dark or Midnight Black uh, controller for the PS5. How do you like it, man? It's really good. I like it. I love the color. It's so nice. Wait, hold on. You just mentioned the PS5. You you know what this means. I don't. Bro, I'm I'm about to be done 
all of the un the games that were going down, which means I can finally play my PS5. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Hell no, you, yeah. You still aren't going to. Stay. Hell yeah. I got to figure out a PS5 Platinum for number one. Hold on. I sent you like a list. Yeah, I know. Wait, I got a question. We, we all know, I guess it's more for like Waves and I, because Brian's got the newer account. But we all know what our first Platinum was. But what was our first PS4 Platinum? Was my I think first for me, it was AC Unity. I got to go on, look at it. Hold, hold on. I got to go look. That's a good question. Um, damn. Damn. What my, was it? Mine was kind of crazy, bro. What was it? I didn't get a PS4 Platinum until... Let me um, let me just double check this to make sure I'm seeing this right. When did the PS4 come out? 2014? No, 2013. It was, yeah, end of 2013. I did not get a PS4 Platinum all of 2013, 2014. Damn. My first PS4 Platinum was in January of 2015. And it was Destiny 1. Damn. And then I plat AC4, Bloodborne, uh, Rocket League, Far Cry Primal, GTA 3, Vice City. And I started going in. <laughs> it's kind of a big in. That yeah. Was person. Yeah, I had to just make sure I was reading that right. Are you sure it was 20... 13 or was it 2014 it was late 2013 so like i think it was november 2013 is when it came out damn that's crazy that's crazy i mean i think i, I was definitely playing my ps4 but like i didn't get a platinum well destiny one was my first ps4 platinum i guess i gotta follow up the ps5 platinum with something good like destruction all-star or something my first and last not first and last my first and second Platinums were both infamous games, so, for the PS4. Nice. What, second, second son, son and first, first light? light? Damn. Yeah. I have the best PS4 Platinum, first one. What is it? My name is Mayo 2. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, I went back and looked at, like, my first, some of my first Platinums. Like, obviously, my first Platinum that I ever got was AC2, right? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, Waves, but, like, I'm just having some thoughts it's here. It's all right. I'm just seeing Chicken McNuggets. Yeah, keep doing it up. I'll, keep, I'll buy you some more time, all right? But I went back to look at my, I went back to look at, like, my first Platinums that I ever got. Like, I was putting some work in back in the day. So my first Platinum was AC2, which obviously, like, whatever. Everyone's got that. My third Platinum was AC Brotherhood. And then... My seventh platinum was Dirt Three, and then I did Batman Arkham Asylum right after that, and then I soon after that did Red Dead, then Skate Three, then like AC Revelation. Dang, I was putting work in back in the day. Damn, you were a gamer back then. Yeah, I don't know what I am now, but it ain't that. <laughs> My first few platinums were stupid easy ones. I'm gonna go look at them. It was two Sly games, a Jack, some Jack games, and a Ratchet and Clank game. I I platinumed all three of the Sly games back to back, and they were like, I think like four, five, and six or something. So they were like early on in my. Dang, you did Sly one, two, and then you did Jack one and two on the PS3 and the Vita. Then yeah. Ratchet. Oh. And then PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, yo, you wild. <laughs> then you did Sly. Then you did the Sly games on the V. Dang, ways. I I see you put the Godfather two in there though. You made time Hell for a good yeah. game. Then I got the PlayStation All Stars again <laughs> on the Vita. I think on the PS3, the Vita. I to open. Dude, I'm looking back at like some of the the platinum trophy images on like the PS4, like. They're just, like, different, like, trophies. It's kind of cool. Like, Infamous Second Son, and then uh, Shadow of Mordor, then Watch Dogs, then AC Unity. 
They're like just different types of like different looking trophies. The Order eighteen eighty six. Damn, that's a game I should play. Spider Man. Spider Man. Yep, it's at the top there. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Is that MW two Remaster or is that MW? Yeah, it's just MW. It's MW. Damn. The only worth one worth getting them. <clears throat> yeah, freak, freak the Call of Duty. I heard the new Call of Duty is trash. Um, it's not even out yet, so how can you say it's trash? You know? People have said that. Been reading it online. People have said it's not worth it. Yeah, people say a lot of things. Yeah, like I'm the president mm-hmm. of the United States. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So, what have you been playing though? Waves, you finish anything? Like, what's been going no. on? We've been busy, you know. With what? With life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. God bless America. <laughs> <laughs> you like what you've been doing? Like, finally, Bo- Boston Tea Party. Like, what? What are we doing out here? Yeah, you know, <laughs> Boston Tea Party. No big but deal. It's right? like the Texan. It's like the Texan version. So, um, you grab like barbecue and like you throw it into the ocean. <laughs> or something yeah yeah you know <laughs> that's how it'd be it'd be that way i mean i played grand theft auto 5 with you which you probably already mentioned while i was gone mm-hmm. yeah cats and i got the multiplayer for pga tour 2k21 done honestly waves has been playing more games than any of us so don't let him fool you All right and then I don't remember if I beat it last week, but like whenever I beat Metroid Dread, I just wanted to play another game like it, another Metroidvania or whatever. So then I tried Axiom Verge and I didn't like it. Then I went back to Symphony of the Night. That's the one thing I've been playing the most. And then today I just went, well, last night really. And today I just went full ass into. <laughs> Probably not full ass. I just went hard, full what? Huh? I just went. I just went. I just went. I just. I can't talk. Yo, the McNuggets got him. God damn. I'm damn. having a seizure. No. Um. I just played Lost Judgment today and last night, and I'm basically at the end of the story now. How are you liking it? How's like story wise? Good, bad. Oh, when I came back, there was some crazy shit happening in the story. So, I think the story's good. I think the first one has, like, a better story. But, um, the sec- this one has, like, a good story also. Well, that's good. I should get into those games. I feel like they'd be fun. I say that about every game, though. <laughs> Seems like this one... Damn. ...is easier overall... Like, like trophy wise, wise or hundred percent wise, like, like trophy wise, I'm not sure because like, <clears throat> I was like for sure the PS5 version is probably gonna be like inflated, right? Because mm-hmm. people are just gonna auto pop it, bastards. But oh, like, sorry. even the PS4 version is pretty high. Yeah, they're it's fourteen point nineteen on the PS4 version. Yeah, I'm guessing it's just because it's a thousand owners. Probably like way less, then, yeah. Yeah, so like, I don't know, but like, the same thing with like Judgment One. Like, I don't think it had that many people, and it's like an ultra rare. Okay, never mind. Judgment One had thirty thousand people. <laughs> yeah, the PS Five one had three thousand, and it's it's it hover it's hovering around the same percentage. So, I mean, it's it's not an ultra rare, but it's like it's right there. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, also. I don't think these games are hard in particular. Like, take they can take a long ass time because of all the side stuff you need to do mm-hmm. for the hundred percent. So, I honestly yeah. don't think any of these should be like ultra rares. Yeah, I think about that with like a lot of games. Honestly, like when you sit down and look at like I don't know, like GTA Four, you know, Red Dead One. Um, they're not necessarily difficult. They just take a lot of time because you got to do the 100% and all that. Now, I will mm-hmm. say like GTA 5 and Red Dead 2, I would say are probably more 
quote unquote difficult than like four and Red Dead one because uh, GTA five and Red Dead two both have that trophy where you have to gold events or like missions. So you actually have to like do things. Uh, and some of the some of the strangers and freaks when I was going for it in GTA five, which is something I did last week, the, the gold going for gold or whatever it is. Some of them are like kind of annoying, but the the nice thing is you don't have to do all the requirements like in the same run. So you can do it one time, do one thing, play it again, you know, do the other thing, move on with your day. Yeah, I think about like you can only really think about like a few games where unless you become like a master of the mechanics and stuff. There's no way you're getting the game done or whatever. Yeah. Like DMC four would be one of them. All the Ninja Gaidens probably would be one of them. Well, I, I, I would even like scratch the surface and say like Max Payne three to an extent because I've seen a lot of forum posts of people, and like videos when people talk about like New York Minute Hardcore and they're like, oh, like, you're playing that on a controller? Like, how are you even doing that? Like. Because people are basically like, you can't do this unless you're on mouse and keyboard. The game's like oh, yeah. unplayable unless you're on mouse and keyboard. And it's like, well, not really. Yeah. Like, if you just play the game and get used to it, or if you've been playing on controller like for years, like, obviously you're not going to pick it up and be able to, you know, be a master right away. But when you're playing through seven times, you know, hopefully you would get kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe even then GS4 would be one of them. Yeah. And then there's like, like there's different types of mastering too. There's like mastering controls, and then there's also mastering like knowledge of the game as well. Yeah. I think about that with like the, um, the Batman games, the Arkham games, because you have to master like, um, you know, enemy types and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And people will say like it's just button mashing, but like, all right, when you start when you're just button mashing attack, like, have fun. That's all right. Um, Batman is just um, what is it? Quick time event the vid- the video game. Yeah, sorry, I meant to say the the superior game, Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> Which is unobtainable now. Rest in peace. Yeah, rip. I went back to when I went back to play that game before the servers went down. I was pissed at that game back in the day when it glitched on me. Pissed because that game glitched on me like three times or something. When I went back to play it. I was kind of like, dude, this game is like low key kind of fun. Like, should have gone back earlier. It's a game. Yeah, it's a great game. There's like really nothing. I, I want to say that there's like nothing like it, but um, I could be lying because there's probably something like it out there. But still, Rage a too. Phenomenal. It's literally game. just Mad Max in first person. In first person. Yeah. I think like the car is like basically the same model or something. I would believe it's like the same controls. I would believe it because Avalanche made Rage 2, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dang, Brian about to get sucked up. <laughs> I hear it. It's been raining huh? nonstop since like like 7 a.m. I hear that thunder. That shit's loud. God Bro, damn. can you send that shit over to me, please? Sure. Yeah, me too. Send me some chicken nuggets, though. We'll trade. Let me- Actually, I'm going to check the weather right now. Hey, thunderstorm tomorrow? Say less. Tomorrow night. Let's see what my weather says. Hot and arid. Hot and arid. Hot and arid. Skin falling off. Highs of 90s. Highs of 90s. All right, cool. All right, cool. Thanks. (laughs) Cool, thanks. Thank you so much. You know what temperature it is by me, Waves? I don't know, but it's probably something I want. 47. Yeah, it's 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 fifty five here. Feels good with the window open. I got some sweats on right now. Feels good. I can't even open my window. It's all the rain's gonna come in, so it kind of sucks. I gotta, suck. I gotta move out of this godforsaken state. We gotta move out by Snickle. That's what we gotta do. Hey, weather nice out here. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's probably expensive over there though. Nah, yeah. bro. No prop no. L- low property tax. Shit, nice. Damn. No sales tax. Shit, nice. Shit, ladies, let's pack up and go, man. We'll get a, we'll just go get a fucking uh, apartment. Summers ain't too hot. <laughs> winters ain't too bad. You know, we always just chilling. We'll get a three bedroom apartment. 
So, Wave's about to become a full-time streamer. I'm well, maybe it's a toss-up, you know, like, every summer is going to be awful. Highs of hundreds. Mm-hmm. And then some winters you're going to be like, oh, man, this is even winter. And then some winters, you know, your power will go out and then you're freezing your ass off inside. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> last, you almost died last winter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because... Cause they said turn the turn the electric off, <laughs> y'all can't have it twenty four seven. I remember when that happened. Perfect. People were like, "Rolling blackouts? That's like a normal thing that happens." I was like, "Huh? That shit ain't never happened to me." <laughs> what you mean rolling, bro? Like, why can't I have power twenty four seven? I'm paying for it. Like, what? Maybe in fucking Cali because they don't like fucking electricity. <laughs> don't you use electricity? But yeah. Bro, that shit in Cali, like, a few... I think we talked about it a few months back when they were, like, banning, like, GPUs or whatever. Yeah, but, yeah, they want all electric cars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that... Uh, the, the, listen, I could go into details about the whole electric car thing, about how it will literally screw everything, but, you know, we won't go there. No. It's all right. We're not going we're to get all dying pretty soon anyways. This. Yeah, you're right. I'll just leave it on... There's a thing called <laughs> gas tax, and look it up. And if you go all electric, say goodbye to that. And look up what it funds. I'll just leave it to this. All right. <laughs> you listening to me? Mm -hmm. My no. ears are open. All right. All I've played this week is Lost Judgment, Castlevania, Axiom Verge, PGA Tour, 2K21, and GTA 5. Why didn't you just why didn't you just start off with that? Like <laughs> 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 we got into this whole side discussion. That's all you had to say. <laughs> and it looks like I played a lot this week, but really, I played two minutes of Axiom Bridge, 30 minutes of PGA Tour. <laughs> At Castlevania, I probably played the most. And then Lost Judgment, I played only today, really. So. Well. So it's Snickle's been playing more than me. It's progress, Waves. Well, I mean, yeah, but, like, I've been playing the same game. <laughs> like, with 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 Max Payne taking me t um seven runs, like, each run is, like, a minimum each run is, like, probably two hours. So, yeah. That just puts it into perspective, I guess. Mm-hmm. Hey, but waves, just finish the game. Like, we go, we gonna finish GTA. I don't want to finish GTA. Yeah, we gonna finish it. Don't worry. I wanna. Because... I wanna finish Warframe. All right, on to our next topic. Uh, <laughs> recent games we've picked up. Have you guys picked any games up? Uh, I didn't pick up any games, but I picked up uh, a season pass. What'd you get? Uh, uh, Strange Brigade. Season pass oh. on sale for $8. Now that's a oh. good game right there. Now why would you go and do that, Mr. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hey, <laughs> we had game. fun that first time. Oh, yeah. I but uh, no, it's only $8, so that's a really good deal for that season pass. <laughs> yeah, that is underrated game right there. Hell yeah. Uh, if you never play Strange Raid, pick that shit up, people. That shit is fun. Oh yeah, if it's so good, we're Strange Brigade too. That's what I'm waiting for. I emailed the company and everything. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, it rebellion, you know? You gotta give them time. They're too busy making their 5,000 um, Sniper League game. Yeah, or like, I don't know, doing something DLC else DLC for useless. fucking Zombie Army 4. <laughs> yeah, doing something useless, probably normal thing how about you waves have you picked any games up since you got the the big cash flow now i did not actually i might have actually let me see <laughs> let me somebody check. did not somebody did not come prepared for a podcast this week i swear listen <laughs> he just woke up okay you think I want to be... <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> dang. dang I, was, I was more saying, like, you just woke up. Like, dang. <laughs> Sheesh. Um, I'm going to be quiet now. I don't want to talk to Waves no more. He's mean to me. 
<laughs> um, I didn't buy anything. I bought so I'm letting my girlfriend use my PS4, mm-hmm. and I got her some games. I don't know if those count, but other than that, the only thing I really got for myself was the uh, was the black PS5 controller. Mm-hmm. So. Not bad. Um, you know I think is. I think yeah. I would have got done more this week though if I didn't spend my whole day working on my car yesterday. Yeah, I, I kind of like busted all my <laughs> all my money last week for for games. So, damn, waves went wild. Yeah, I feel it though, Brian. I I uh, I spent most of my day today washing my car. So it was. Uh, I will admit, uh, I got the back brakes done at least, and the rims look fucking sick now. But yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't go outside anymore. So who needs a car here? Yeah, I feel it. Daylight be a little, you know, crazy sometimes. Yeah. Daylight a little ugly. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. It just scares me. Oh, I guess I could say this. I got the Ghost of Tsushima, like, the art of book. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Right, you got that. that. Other than that, nothing else. Have you been studying it? I've I've given it a good look through sometimes. Oh, that's good. Like when you're Once on the I, when you're on the toilet, like is it something you read? Yeah, I've got it right next to the toilet paper. Yeah. Oh, nice. <clears throat> but uh, but yeah. Come on by the Last of Us one. What the? There's a I got the book? God of War one. There's a God of yeah. I'll probably get that. One. I got the I like one. Those books. I got the one for uh, No Man's Sky. What are you, an idiot? (laughs) 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 I would say Boyce is angry when he doesn't have his fucking food, but I know this man ate like 20 chicken nuggets already, but... I got one chicken nugget left. Okay, you ate 19. Okay. (laughs) The worst game. Man, this man really said fucking <laughs> I have the order no man's going. Come on. Come on, Snickle. Well, you know, it'd be cool. Get, get your head out of your ass. What? Right. It'd be cool, you know? Mine says right next to my toilet paper, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but that's because you use it as toilet paper. Right? Exactly. When I run out. Um, I, I personally, I don't know if I picked this up last week. I don't remember if I said, but I picked up a uh, Grand Theft Auto five digitally on the PS4 because somebody took my physical one and she stole your shirt also. Yeah, that's true too. Yep. Forgot about that. So yeah, I bought, it was on sale. So I bought it digitally. Um, and I don't know if, oh we my were, God, huh? You know what's games finally coming out? What? What? The squirrel game. What squirrel game? Huh? Away the survival series. What? Oh, I know what you're talking about. The game where you play as the squirrels, Nickel. Oh, I think I heard about that like a while ago. It's finally coming out. Oh, shit, when's it gonna release, Waves? <clears throat> Tomorrow. Nah. Oh shit, day one bye. <laughs> No, you know what Game Waves needs? B Simulator. How did you know I was going to say that, <laughs> you shitter? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's what you need, though. No, Appar- squirrels are cooler than bees. Apparently. Bees are dying out. Squirrels live forever. Hell yeah. Well, that's what you got to get it to support the bees. Fuck the bees. Yeah, without the bees, we don't have anything. Good. We don't have life. Good. <laughs> Good, we finally die. You think I want that? <laughs> oh, here's Jesus. a game for Snickle. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, wait. <laughs> what? What? It says it's rated mature. <laughs> the B game. 
really <laughs> it says rating like mature but then on the but then it's like a pow version and it says uh peggy three <laughs> which one is it chief <laughs> i don't know which one it is you know what you know which games nickel wants um ancestors did you already have that oh um, i want it. Oh, oh, oh oh no i don't know them so winter sports games i know snickle's all about the winter sports wait what do you mean winter sports games that's the name of the game is it on the ps3 on the ps5 i gotta look this up what winter i'm on amazon right now that's where sport I found. games wait did i spell something wrong sports oh. oh it's sports oh it's on the ps4 it's 100 percent. what the fuck is this <laughs> all right my, my did you say you wanted to do all the snowboarding games yeah but, but my computer got a virus now so oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah yeah uh but yeah I, did you guys pick anything else up uh depression no. well that's normal damn this squirrel <laughs> game's 30 dollars hell Dep- yeah by now depression's <laughs> normal when you uh Oh, technically, it's not a squirrel. It's a sugar glider. It's the same shit. Yeah. No, it's not. It's the same family. Squirrel. And they're both fucking rats. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> yeah, Waves, when you get a full-time job, though, that's when the depression kicks in full-time, too. I already have a full-time job. I know, that's what I'm saying. That's why you got full-time depression. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I already have full-time depression before that. <laughs> Yikes. You got it. What? How do you have it before? You know, that's, a, that's too easy. I was streaming <laughs> yesterday, being Saturday, because I was home, and someone was like, "Why are you streaming on the weekend? Are you going full time?" Like, huh? Where I get like two viewers, I can't go full time. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to pick up the Crisis series, remastered series, the remastered. Yeah, I wonder how they fucked those up. Apparently right. they're. Apparently they're good, but uh, I don't know if it come. Does it come with the first one? I don't know. Well, if it's the Crisis Remastered trilogy, I would expect so. No? I don't know. You know, they could be stupid. We're talking about EA, or did EA not release this? I don't think so. I thought EA owned the the name. No, I think they just published it. Oh, so Crytek released it. I mean, yeah, you know, trilogy usually means three, so, yeah. It probably has all three. Or, like, cry dumb. Did y'all pick up the Jedi Knight collection? Physical? No. You think I got money like that, Snickle? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, so, (laughs) Crisis Remastered Trilogy is $50, and you do get all three Crisis games. You know what they made? Or uh, you could pay thirty dollars for each Crisis game. <laughs> yeah, no, bro. Wait, you know what game they? Uh, you know what game they made physical? What? Sniper Ghost Warrior contracts two on the PS Five. I mean, probably, but um, Vader Immortal <laughs> saves Christmas. No, <laughs> Vader Immortal. Rustler. Uh, Vader Immortal. The Medium. Vader Immortal. Tormented Soul. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Mortal Soul Suspect? Uh, Fruit Ninja VR. Oh, I believe that. <laughs> oh, that's a game worth playing right there. Hell yeah. <laughs> that, get my... That's what's like. I'm going to dust off the VR and get the going on that. I'm going to get my real sword out and play with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tie the Man, why the fuck my monitor get broke? <laughs> I, I want to say I saw a video of a guy. Um... They were playing like Fruit Ninja, but it was like with an actual sword. Oh, jeez. No. And it was like. <laughs> so they just had like one person throwing like fruit at them, mm-hmm. but they were just supposed to be throwing the small fruits so, like that the sword can actually go through it. Mm-hmm. But, um. This one of them threw like a whole ass like watermelon. And that man almost cut his nose off. <laughs> but I mean, they do be throwing watermelons in there, so he's not wrong. Should have thrown a dragon fruit. 
Yeah, I feel it. Hell yeah. Wait, so I, I mean, I was just looking through VR stuff. It, it has me. Um, um, it reminded me that like, when's this new Ubisoft uh, Star Wars game coming out, or any Star Wars game Never. at that at that matter? Next when is week. any Ubisoft game gonna be good again? Never. Yeah. Can you answer that? Y'all probably right. I'm getting my hopes up for no reason. Probably are. You are. I'll tell you how that Ubisoft game is going to be like, Snickling. Dog water? Think of... <clears throat> think of towers everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. That you have to go to, climb it, mm -hmm. then press triangle somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then that'll reveal more of the map. Okay. All right. Yep. So there's that. And then there's going to be some kind of encampment thing. So you'll have to, like, free districts. Mm-hmm. So there's that. Okay. And then there's going to be some shitty RPG system in it. Okay. You know, and the map will be big for no reason. There's your there's your Ubisoft Star Wars game. I feel like I've heard of that that type of game before, but it sounds like a it sounds like a new new idea. I like to call them Ubi type games. Yeah. I could, I could understand it now, but I feel like that's a very innovative game. Oh, then I've got, I've got the best game for you to play, Snickle. Oh, let me hear that. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> when are they remastering it for the uh, PS5? That's the best thing, Snickle. You put your PS4 copy into your PS5, and you can play that at 60 frames per second. Yeah, but I already got all the trophies, so there's no reason for me to play it. Oh, then you know, you can get an Xbox Series X. <laughs> That'll be the first and last game that I 1000G or whatever they call it over there. Yeah, I don't know what they call it. Wait, I always wonder that about the Xbox. Like, they, they have a they have 1000G for, like, the base game, but, like, when they add DLC, is it, like, limited to how many gamer score it can have? I'm not know. sure. I don't know how DLC works for. If anyone knows that, let us let, let us know in the comments below. I, I don't play on this. I haven't played on the Xbox since the original one, and gamer score oh, the wasn't a dumb thing. box. Yeah, the stupid, the refrigerator. Whoever plays on the refrigerator, <laughs> let us know. That for you see how much that refrigerator is. What the actual refrigerator? Yeah, they actually put out the mini fridge this week. <laughs> yeah, it's just funny, but how much? How much was it? It's like seven hundred and fifty dollars or something. Jesus, it's more than the console itself. Bro, that's worth. I'll buy it. Bro, I'll buy the console and convert it to a refrigerator. It's probably going to be cheaper. <laughs> probably. <laughs> all right. Well, let's get into the best topic, my favorite topic, which hasn't changed at all, which is server shutdowns. Um, Nothing new here. So November 17th, Dead by Daylight, Stranger Things DLC is getting delisted. Madden uh, 17 is going down on the PS3 and PS4 on December 7th. It's already unobtainable, so don't even try. Uh, NFL Blitz on the PS3 is going down on December 7th. Hardware Rivals on the PS4 is going down on December 8th. Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PS3 is going down on December 16th. NBA 2K20 <coughs> is going down on December 31st on the PS4. Uh, Destiny 2 on the PS4 and PS5 on February 22nd. The Forsaken DLC is going to be uh, yeeted, so I don't know what's going to happen there. Uh, One Punch Man, a hero, hero nobody knows on the PS4. Something's happening on February 22nd, but it's not tied to trophies. Because um, it has no online trophies. WWE 2K19 is going down on March 1st on the PS4. MGS5 Ground Zero is on the PS3 and PS4. It's going down on May 31st. No online trophies, though. Uh, MGS5 on the PS3 is going down on May 31st as well. And then that's about it. There was a few delistings that happened, obviously, which we'll talk about, I guess, in our topic. But the Grand Theft Auto, yeah, the Grand Theft Auto trilogy, the ported trilogy, was removed officially. So, yeah, and some stuff with Rocksmith is getting delisted <coughs> on. Well, it might be going already. It's already delisted. See you later, Sayonara. Well, the DLC isn't, but the game is. 
And if you want your if you want your no no content on the Japanese store, you better go buy it before. Well, this podcast will be out by the time it gets <clears throat> yeeted. So, yeah. So make sure you buy your Dead by Daylight additional chapters, Stranger Things. Yep, and Dark Awake. Yeah, Dark Awake's about to become delisted. Yep, delisted. What a 100% sad there. world we live in. Yeah, we can't even have our blondes, dude. It's so annoying. So make sure you get it, so I guess you can get your gold, gold, and your blondes, and your gold. With no silver, even though there's... <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that's the gold. <laughs> yeah, you're, sorry, sorry, sorry. The gold, gold is actually the gold. <laughs> uh, that's a low-key, though. Low-key, Dark Awake is kind of a good fighting game. Yeah, for those moments where we were just, like, standing next to each other and slapping the square button. Yeah, that shit was fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get on for you so we can finish waves. You just gotta let me know. Huh? Yeah. Um. Anyway, so let's get into the meat and potatoes <laughs> <laughs> of this podcast, which is going to be our topics. We have three topics to talk about this week. Uh, two of like, them are kind of similar to what we talked about last week, honestly, but just kind of updates, I would say, right? Um. So I'll talk about like the dumb cast. Yeah, I feel it. I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I don't want to hear your sass. The first <laughs> one is uh, something we talked about last week. There was, again, more information that leaked, probably or not leaked, but officially put out. And then there's probably going to be more information officially put out this week at some point, probably by the time this already comes out. But uh, there was the date was revealed for the Grand Theft Auto trilogy definitive edition along with some screenshots and yeah that's it so well i guess they they showed footage they didn't show gameplay but they showed footage um yeah i mean like shit. It, so this is the thing man i, I feel like two types of way like part of me thinks that way because i'm like it's running on unreal and it looks like textbook unreal like just like what wave said when he showed us like shit looks like a college project like, it literally looks like something that a college student did for a project, presented it to Rockstar, and then Rockstar was like, hell yeah, let's publish that. Um, <laughs> it looks like some Roblox-ass GTA game, but I think the... I am excited <laughs> about, like, one thing, which is, like, the way the games are going to play, because they are, are going to update them to, like, mm -hmm. the way that GTA Five plays with, like, the weapon wheel, the way you switch the radio. Like, we're probably going to have, like, obviously, like, free aim and everything, which was something that none of those games ever had but i don't know i mean i'm i'm just sus i'm a little sus about it because of the way it looks and they they said they kept well people were speculating that they kept it that way because those games had a cartoony art style but like they really didn't they they were like they were the best looking games at the time that they came out because of the hardware so I mean, right we're so, talking PS2 era here, so... Yeah, it's not like think... they were going to make some hyper-realistic looking game on the PS2. Like, come on now. Yeah, like, I'm sure their idea at the time was to make a quote-unquote realistic looking game, but that was, like, the most realistic they could at the time, you know? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, people were um, saying, like, they tried to keep the art style, and, like, when I think about art style, I think of games like Borderlands, right? Like, they're right. not going to make a Borderlands game that's, like, hyper-realistic looking, because Borderlands whole art style is cell shaded so mm -hmm. that would make no sense if they've remastered them they wouldn't be like oh well well we had to keep the art style so we had to like like yeah you have to keep the art that is an art style yes it's had it since day one like so i don't um, know from what i've come to understand san andreas is going to be on game pass for xbox and grand theft auto 3 is going to be on playstation now yep i did hear that as well yeah which makes uh, like no sense to me <laughs> But then they're selling like, it as a just trilogy. Those, right? <laughs> like, um, what about music? Have we heard any like confirmation about the music? I'm more curious about uh, Vice City. I'm sure yeah. Vice City's music is going to be destroyed. I was going to oh, say, God. so that's the one thing that I'm worried about. Not, I mean, Vice City the most because it is the most iconic game when it comes to music. But I feel like all of them uh, are going to be, they're not going to be. They're not gonna have the the original music in them, so right. 
I mean, the thing with Vice City is regardless of what they do with the music, the game is set in the 80s, so it's going to have 80s styled music, but is it going to have mm-hmm. what it had in back in the day? I don't know. Uh, probably not everything. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, part of me is kind of excited because I do want to play them to just see like how they are to play and maybe... I don't know. Maybe the screenshots don't do it justice because I saw like Claude and I was like, okay, like that doesn't look too bad. And then you showed me Tommy and I was like, who like did my man's dirty? Like who did Vice City dirty? That game looks so bad. And then CJ looks like looks good. Like my man Tommy's got those sausage fingers. Like Mm -hmm. who did him like who did that game like that? Because it's so bad. Well, my question for you guys, and I think I know the answer. We know it's coming out digitally November 11th. Mm-hmm. 11th. It's coming out physical December 7th. I'm going to wait for December. I want my physical edition. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to buy a day one, probably. Got too many other things to play, but if <clears throat> next year it gets dropped to like 40 bucks or 30 bucks, I may pick it up for the PS5, but um, I, I kind of want to... I'm not doing anything until i see game like actual gameplay right because i, well, I want to we'll see have, uh, how it looks with be- us waiting you know we'll especially see how the gameplay is too so yeah because one of the things another thing that i'm interested about along with the music is like how the physics of the game are going to be because you have such a variation in physics between I mean, these three games, and then you look at, like, GTA 4 and then GTA 5. Like, what what type of physics system are we going to be getting here? How are the cars mm-hmm. going to handle? How is the... Like, I, I'm... That's... I, I want to see actual gameplay to see what it's what it's going to be looking like, so... Part of me is excited, but the other part of me is, like, I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out. Yeah. I mean, regardless, I think it's going to be... Uh... It'll sell. Yeah, it's going to sell regardless. I think they would have been better going in the direction of, like, doing remakes. Because I know people are calling these remakes, and they kind of are. Uh, but I mean, like, remakes on, like, Rockstar's Rage Engine. Uh, I, If I'm not mistaken, wasn't this outsourced to the guys who did San Andreas, the San Andreas port on the PS3? I believe so. And not the mobile port, like, the actual, like, the one that doesn't have trophies. Isn't that just the PS2 version? Yeah, but like it was out those guys they like ported it to the PS3 or something. Whoever like was in charge of that port like is apparently the guys that are doing this. I heard. I don't know if that's true. It's just something that I heard, but I don't I I would have rather liked to see a remake like in the Rage engine with like GTA 5 like physics and like graphics, but we're never gonna get that. Some people <laughs> called Grove Street Games. That's their name. Hmm. You gotta be kidding me, right? Apparently, that's their name. History spanning over a decade. What have they made? I, I gotta go look at this now. <clears throat> they have a countdown for the GTA. Shit. They worked on Bully Scholarship Edition. Okay. For oh, iOS didn't... and Android. Oh. And then Ark Survival Evolved for iOS and Android. And some game called Relux Constellations for Android, iOS, and PC. Some game called Turtle Tumble for iOS and Android. Oh, they worked on Chinatown Wars. Yep. Oh shit. Oh, okay. so they, they did do the they did do San Andreas on the PS3. Yeah, they did San Andreas on the. So they basically they basically did the San Andreas remaster that's on the PS3 with trophies then. Yeah. Then Vice City on iOS and Android. X Pain GTA Three. Did the PS2 version of the Ghostbusters the video game? (laughs) (laughs) Well then, I mean, again, and Waves called it like weeks ago. Because it's coming out on iOS and Android. <laughs> it's going to be a mobile game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, mean... I don't know. I, I think my... And I know people are talking about it. They're like, oh, the lighting and all this. I, when I look at it, like... It, it looks like claymation is what it looks like. And... it 
like things are shiny, like overly shiny. Things just don't look right. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think honestly, I think it's gonna be car too too cartoony, and it's not gonna feel. It's literally gonna be feel like playing like Fortnite or something. Like, well, GTA Three looks like Fortnite because you know how like Fortnite is like it's a cartoony game. Like they're obviously like modeled after real people, but they look cartoony. Like that's exactly mm -hmm. how this is gonna. I guarantee you. This. I mean, just looking at it, like that's what it gives. That's the vibe it gives me. I mean. I don't like it. No, I don't, I don't like it at all. <laughs> I don't like how it looks at all. No, like, I, I, I understand people probably like the new lighting and everything, but I don't like... Like, it just looks wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Everything I, just looks wrong, especially Tommy. And yeah. it's like sausage fingers. <laughs> yeah, just I looks don't... wrong. I don't like the lighting changes that they made. I think it looks too... I don't know, like, what to... Like, what it is, but yeah, like, something just doesn't look right. Like, the lighting, I think, is just... I don't know. It ain't it I'm, for me. <laughs> I don't like most of the things they did. I think they should have just, like, not done this. <laughs> I think the PS2 ports were fine. Maybe, like, put, like, modern controls on the PS2 ports or whatever, but... Or just give the ability to remap controls, like... Yeah. So people can play how they want to play, like... Uh, I don't I don't get it. I mean, again, if they did a full like remake, I think I would have been okay with it, like in the Rage Engine. But yeah, something about it just I'll probably end up getting it and playing it just because because I love Vice City and I love GTA 3. But and obviously San Andreas 2, but I think Vice City and 3 are like my favorite out of the three of them. Um but yeah, something doesn't does not look right about it. I'm telling you, it looks like an unfinished project is what it looks like. Yeah. I uh, agree with you on that. Um, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I want to see how it actually plays. Because um, that's another... Like, physics are a big thing. That's, that's going to be a big big piece of the puzzle. Yeah, so, I'm not buying it until I finish like the PS2 version. It's already on, so... I think, so, we talked about this last week, but the part that makes me the most angry about the whole thing, like, fuck what they're doing with the remake, but the fact that they took the ports off of the PlayStation Store and, like, delisted them everywhere, like, that, I think, makes me, like, the most angry because, like, that's game preservation, and they literally just pulled it, even though you can still, like, get it on the PC, obviously, but... I think they took them down on PC also. Oh, well, rest in peace. Like, I, I just think that that's... I don't know. I feel like that's wrong from a game... Pre game uh, preservation of games and history of games perspective. Yeah, I don't like that they did that. Yeah, they took them out down on PC also. Because, like, if these are supposed to be the definitive edition, then, let, like, give people the choice to be able to... Uh, to, to buy what they want to buy if they want to buy this one or the, the port like let it be <laughs> i'm watching the trailer right now it's just reminding me of like uh remember when they did the silent hill remaster and they put the comic sans in <laughs> like i'm i'm waiting for them to do some stupid shit like that because you know damn well rockstar isn't checking this for any sort of qaqc or min i should say minimal amount i hope they do <laughs> no <laughs> That would be hilarious. I would laugh. Like, imagine the title screen is just all in Comic Sans. <laughs> Where, like, every <laughs> every street sign and everything's in Comic Sans. <laughs> oh, that shit would be funny. Uh, I don't know. Time will tell. But the cartoony side just... It doesn't... It doesn't sit right with me. I don't like this art style, like, at all. <laughs> No, I don't like how the guy from GTA 3 looks. I especially don't like how Tommy Versetti looks. CJ's like the only one that looks fine. <laughs> That's just because he doesn't have that many like discerning features, I guess. Yeah. I just don't. I, I think my I don't know. I think my issue is that they're like they're trying to justify the art style by saying like, well, it was cartoony back in the day. And it's like, no, like it wasn't. It was the most realistic looking thing back in the day. Like. That doesn't justify making a remake that's cartoony, but whatever. Time will tell. We'll wait and see. There'll probably be more info that comes out because 
I don't know if we mentioned, but uh, this will be coming out on November 11th. Uh, I guess Brian said it. Digitally, November mm -hmm. 11th, and physically, December what? Uh, December 6th. 6th. Okay. So, if you want to pre-order and shit, you know, go, go, go do your thing, but... I'll be staying the away thing for the, that, the other thing that didn't get mentioned in this that I, I just learned about yesterday. What's that? Is that <clears throat> they're taking out some things that can be considered offensive from the game. Oh, fuck. That ain't worth it then. Well, I heard that Vice City there took away the Confederate flag on the one guy, which like, whatever, I guess. That's the one that I know of, but apparently they're taking out, like, a bunch of stuff. Not I mean, a bunch of stuff, but, like, some of the radio show parts. They're taking that, some some of that stuff out. Um, the Confederate flag, they're taking that out. What, what is going on with Rockstar? Like, back in the day, they would have just told people, like, fuck you. Like, we're doing what we want to do. That's how this franchise came to be in the first place. And now they're trying to be like, oh... We're, we have this franchise called Grand Theft Auto, and we need it to be as family-friendly as possible. <laughs> like, bro, what? I don't get and, it. And, like, what I don't get is, like, they had those stuff, but they were making fun of people who were saying that kind of stuff, right? Back in the day, yeah. Yeah, and it's like... Now look at you. But, like, now it's like, oh, no. Like... Like that guy from Vice City, from what I remember, he was just like a caricature, basically, of like your of your typical like Red southern neck. racist dude or whatever. Yeah, it's exactly like, what he is. That's like the whole point of him. So, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's like a weird shift because they they used to just give the middle finger to people about stuff like that. Um, and when Waves and I were playing GTA Five the other day, like. <laughs> We were playing with this, we, we played a heist with this random dude, and then we were in the lobby, and, like, we were just, like, messing around, and he sent a message or something, he's like, you're bad or something, and, like, I tried to reply and say, like, fuck you, or, like, something like that, and it was, like, inappropriate language, and I'm like, what? Like, so I can't tell another person to, like, go fuck themselves, but then if I'm playing a single player, I can go do things with a hooker have her get out of the car, shoot her, steal her money, and then go run 50 people over. That's perfectly fine to do that. But <laughs> God forbid I tell someone to go fuck themselves that we're way out of line there. Like, shouldn't be doing that one. <laughs> but, yeah, I, they, I don't know. I don't understand. I mean, obviously, um, they're doing it because, like, there's probably shareholders that are telling them to, but at the same time, like, your franchise is literally called Grand Theft Auto. Like, What? Yeah. And now you're trying to be like all soft and like, oh, we, we family friendly. We got to be family friendly. Um, I mean, they're not saying that. I'm just saying like, that's what it insinuates by like them, like taking this stuff out. Like we have to pander to these people. And it's like, you're pandering to people that don't even play your game. Like, right. The, you, you're worrying about people. You're worrying about all these sensitive people. They're not the ones playing and buying your games. Like, so what does it matter? Yeah. All I'll say is, um, can we get a Midnight Club remake, please? Or just a port? Midnight Club's never coming back, Snickle. I'm sorry. It doesn't make enough money, Snickle. Dude, it's crazy. I was, the other day I was, you know, watching something about, like, the games that came out. I, and I think I was watching something about Midnight Club LA. Um, that game competed with, like, it was competing with, like, Need for Speed and shit that year. It blew, like, Need for Speed out of the water. Like, they had no reason to, to like, to like literally take it out back and shoot it. Like, it it didn't do anything wrong, and they just stopped making them. Like, I I don't understand Rockstar and their, their, like, ways anymore. All they care about is microtransactions. But, like, a car game would be a perfect place to put microtransactions in, so... Mm -hmm. If it doesn't speak. start with grand and end with auto, they don't care anymore. I, I mean, I guess <laughs> technically, you know, like Grand Theft Auto Online is basically Midnight Club. I mean, you only buy shark cards to buy cars. So, like, oh, I guess that makes sense. I, I don't know. Well, 
Speaking of car games, I'm going through what's coming out soon mm-hmm. on uh, PlayStation Store. Grid Legends. Yeah, there's a new Grid game coming out. Huh. That's I you think there's a Grid game coming out. Yeah, there's a new Grid game coming out. Um, There's no, like, new... There's no, like, new, new, like, good racing games coming out. There was something coming out that I was, like... Well, Dangerous Driving is supposed to come out this year. I don't... Dangerous Driving 2. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, I, I haven't seen anything about that lately. Hot Wheels... Jeez, Nicole, what about that NASCAR game? Dude, that game can't... E- that... Listen... <laughs> The trailer for that game couldn't even run properly, so the game itself is not running properly, let's be honest. I mean, Hot Wheels Unleashed came out. That's a good game. The the I think what's lacking is what Midnight Club was, open-world racing games. Those are lacking. There's, like, literally none of them that exist. Everything is close Forza course. Horizon. Well, there is. On the Xbox, yes. There's Forza Horizon 5 that's coming out, but I'm saying, like, on the, on the PlayStation that is a genre that that lacks there are a lot of racing games don't get me wrong but they're all closed course racing games there's no the only thing that's open world racing on the on the playstation is need for speed and i don't even know when we're getting a new need for speed i've not heard a damn thing about it um so i i don't know i i really don't know and part of me thinks that like racing games have gone away because of like licensing fees i feel like companies have figured out that like to license car brands is kind of a pain in the ass so they're like well we just won't deal with it um because a lot of like games that you see nowadays aren't even like i feel like they're not even like licensed licensed games at least the smaller ones so but i think they were supposed to make a uh car x car x racing like street racing game because there's like car x drift cool. racing but they they were supposed to make a uh, like a street racing game i think it was in like i don't know if it was in beta or what but who knows when that's going to come out but well, we're not getting a need for speed this year they, no. they've mentioned nothing about need for speed a new need for speed yeah. i mean we're getting like obviously we're getting um gran turismo 7 which is cool but but again these are all they're they're, they're simulation closed course racing games like honestly polyphony should make like an open world racing game i feel like it, they would it would sell very good like take the phys I've, I've said it for like ever take the physics of gran turismo like over hyper realistic physics and then put it into an open world racing game i feel like that would be a fun game with with like car customization and everything but whatever although i did see that one game that looks kind of good art of rally Looks like a about, like, like a cool little game. What about bears don't drift? Yeah, I'll drift my ass right away from that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass on that one for the time being. But the art of rally looks kind of cool. I don't know. That's on the PS5, so I might pick that up and and do my first PS5 platinum as that. We'll see. I don't know. But yeah, that's uh that's the Grand Theft Auto trilogy remake or whatever we'll keep you updated when gameplay comes out or anything like that but for the time being um i don't think any of us are cool with the the art direction style that they're going and nope waves called this so so yeah give me two cookies each of you no you just had 20 chicken nuggets you can't have your dessert now he had 40 and the two large fries oh damn i wish I'd probably be dying if I did. <laughs> he did. Don't, probably not dying like Snickle was yesterday. Dude, I was dying. I was... <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. All right, I'm going to let Brian take this next one away because I know you're a fan of this IP. Hell yeah. <clears throat> uh, Destroy All Humans 2 Remake is skipping all old consoles so those can create bigger and more detailed maps. Um, you so... said it wrong. It's reprobed. Remarched. Is it reprobed? It says remake on the headline up here. It is. It is technically reprobed, but it's remastered. Everything's remastered. Destroy all humans too. Reprobed. Look at the head of it. Okay, yeah, underneath it says that, but the big That's title the says remake. Name of the game. Okay, reprobed is only coming to PS5, Xbox Series <laughs> X and S, and PC. Uh, THQ North. Uh, 
Basically, the team has decided to go for bigger, more detailed open world levels on next-gen consoles instead of sacrificing quality or size for older machines. I like where they're going with this. I agree with them. Uh, so what do you guys think? I mean, yeah, I'm glad they're going like fully next gen. I'm I'm waiting for like the fully next gen like open world game, honestly, yeah. because I think about it. <laughs> fuck, why do I always have to relate this back to Assassin's Creed? But I think about it with like Assassin's Creed Unity, even though it was trash when it launched. But like, if you if you compared like AC, uh, whatever Revelations to Unity, like mm-hmm. the comparison in like uh detail of the map, being able to go into buildings, like fidelity of everything amount of npcs on the screen like it wasn't even comparable so i would love to see like a true open world game on next gen but i I like how this is going uh like fully next gen i think and then they're just going to take take control of that hardware it's a smart move in all honesty like why sacrifice you know the game because they want to put, make sell more copies. Yeah. But, and T- uh, THQ Nordic said it right. Yeah. Yeah. I, Loki. Ever since Nordic Game bought THQ, they've been like one of my favorite uh, publishers and developers. So, oh hell yeah! I was about to say THQ Nordic is like one of the best publishers out now. <laughs> yeah. They are literally oh, just buying up all these old like IPs, and they're like, "Man, people like destroying humans when they were kids. Let's give it to them again." <laughs> yeah, like THQ Nordic is literally like old THQ, which is like the best part about it. Just don't make the Udraw tablet too, please. <laughs> don't don't. No, shoot, my question don't, is, don't shoot yourself in the foot, please. Please do if... so like that. Stunkle can do that Marvel game again. Nah, no, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> My question is, did the like the first remaster uh, sell well uh, to do the second one? Are we actually going to get a new one? Oh, like three? I mean, it must have it like must a have three sold well enough for them to warrant making the second one. Right? Yeah, I'm nope. sure the second one sells well to make the, make a three because they're already yeah. making like a new SpongeBob game after they did that rehydrated one. So. You're right. Well, destroy all humans on the PS4. This is the one that was remastered. It only has uh, on on PSMP. It only has uh, a little over eleven thousand game owners. Yeah, but it's only on PSMP though, too. Yeah, yep, yep. That's a very small pool to pull from. So yeah, because if you look at it, it has uh, the PS3 one has forty thousand. Yeah, and Destroy All Humans two is like twenty five thousand. Yeah. So. I mean, I think, I just like how, like Wave said, like, THQ Nordic just buys up, or they have, like, all these IPs, like, they have all, like, the Nickelodeon IPs, Mm -hmm. somehow, Um, and they make, they make games (laughs) with them, they don't just, they don't just have it, and they're like, hey, we have it, look what we have, guys, (laughs) so. (laughs) They never said how many they sold, but they did say that it exceeded their expectations. Well, that's good, then. So yeah, that makes sense for them to to make a a second one. Oh, well, this one's saying this sold one. more than one million copies. God damn! Oh, shit. So speaking wait. of million copies, your God of War sold nine is over nineteen million copies now. Jeez! Now they're gonna sell more because it's coming to PC. I was gonna Hell say yeah, it's, it's like nineteen point five million so far. It's sold. Dude, part of me like is like if you're gonna bring it to PC, can we get like a PS5, like an official like PS5 director's cut or something? Fuck yeah, I'll pay for that. I, I would no, too. Um, they're making uh, the next one. What if they What if they do like a director's cut as they release the the next one? I would buy it. I mean, I would buy. I would double like, up on that. That game is awesome. I mean, I don't see the point of it. Like, <laughs> unless they add like DLC to it, but why even matter? Why even do that? You know, true. Because well, the second one's already coming out. <laughs> The, well, the 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 remaster or whatever will literally just be, um, the PS4 version with the 60 FPS update. Yeah, exactly. They can sell it. You already have that though, <laughs> for free. 
If you have a PS4 game. copy of the game, you get 60 FPS update. They're going to take and it away there, and then you got to buy it. Just like uh, just like Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut or, or Death Stranding Director's Cut. Like, they didn't take, actually, a, I they didn't see take away the 60 many... FPS from Ghost of Tsushima. They should. Like, it, even on PSMP, <laughs> see, like, you could tell, like, as a track trophy hunters, PSMP God of War 2018 has 615,000 game owners. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. But the game has sold 19 million copies. PS4, I mean, God of War is definitely like a PS4 seller. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, if you look at all the God of War games, like, they're all, like, stupid high. God of War 1 has 500,000. God of War 2's got 360, Chains of Olympus. I can't wait to do this fucking series. 175, yeah. Ghost of Sparta's 160. I don't even want to know what God of War 3 is. It's probably 770,000 on the PS3. Holy fuck. Remaster's 406,000. Ascension is 380. Like, all of them are stupid high. That's such a good series, though. 2018 was the first one to hit over a million. It only has uh, 6, 6 oh. 15. You mean on PS and P? Yeah, I thought PSMP. you were talking about. I was like five hundred thousand. You forgot about one. Yeah, it's all. It's just, I'm just pulling from PS and P. But I mean, uh, God of War three is still the highest out of all of them at seven seventy. But I mean, over I think time, God of War three was uh like the height of like old God of War games. That is oh, true. Yeah. That is very true. I mean, I I went back and did God of War three in in 2016, and like it still mm-hmm. blew me away how good that game looked on the PS three. It looked better. It looks better than most PS4 games. Yeah, it did. It looked way better than like most PS4 games, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like this is like I'm actually blown away. God of War revenue was over five hundred million dollars for Sony. Fuck. Something like. Well, you heard that Sony has like fucking a couple billion dollars to play with right now for Sony wise. For, like, I was Zero Dawn made four hundred million dollars. Yeah, I was reading something the uh, like a week or two ago that was saying that they had like same thing, Brian, that they had like billions to play with, and that's why they're making yeah, like I think the most is like eighteen billion dollars they could play with if they want. Yeah, yeah, to like make acquisitions and stuff, which mm-hmm. was kind of like interesting to hear. Yeah, Wait, they're... you said Horizon made four hundred million for them? Yeah. Jeez. Holy fuck. Off one game. God, it right? has 730,000 game owners Horizon Zero Dawn. Shit. One day, Waves will go back and finish that game up. Good thing Gorilla you, Games moved away from Killzone. Why you gotta keep Killzone. calling me out for that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> because Sickle finished it. I don't fucking care. <laughs> you should. I finished DMC5. When are y'all gonna go finish that? No, that doesn't sound as No, works. no, no, it all only counts when it's y'all. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> no, <laughs> two of us have to complete it for you for I, the next person to do it. I never played it, so how can I how can I go finish it up yeah, if I yeah, never played whatever. it? Whatever. Shut up. <laughs> That's basic math right there or something like that. Exactly. <laughs> so God of War sold over ten million units in its first year, forty percent of which were digital sales. This is a record for both digital and highest number of units shifted in the first year. That's crazy. Dude, I can't wait for the next one. I really can't. And didn't didn't they say Ghost of Tsushima toppled Horizon Zero Dawn for fastest selling uh, new IP or something like that? Yes. Damn, so that means Ghost of Tsushima probably made more money for them. I'm about to go do the God I'm about to go do the God of War games on the PS TV. You have fun with that, Snickle. Waves, why don't you ever support me in my PSTV? Because <laughs> you never support me in my Vita. <laughs> yes, I do. I played Killzone Mercenary with you. Um, yeah, um, but what, what did you try <laughs> first on? What? What did you try first on? The Vita. No, you was trying on the TV first. I tried to download Bot Zone on the TV because I was gonna. I knew I had to do the matches, and you were like, you were telling me you could. I could just turbo it. I was like, oh hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Hey man, I would never tell someone to play on the TV. Man, what? you're so negative tonight. I am a PS Vita fanboy. Master. All hail the Vita. 
Master Race, PS Vita Master Race. <laughs> PS Vita Master Race. <laughs> if that's even a thing, he is it. <laughs> I want to... Hey. I want to see if they have, like, a sales chart of all the God of War games somewhere. I've never played a Destroy All Humans game, though. I, I should probably play one. I played two. the first one a couple years ago. I kind of enjoyed it. Like, the original, or did you play the remake? I played, like, the original, that the port that they put on for the PS4. For okay. the... Yeah, I, You know what's I... cool? The, they did the opposite. Uh, that, um... Rockstar did with their definitive edition or <laughs> whatever. They did actual remakes and they kept like their original ports up. Yeah, cuz yeah. Cuz it's THQ Nordic and they're smart. And they're not That's run one, one. by a bunch of bozos. <laughs> what are they going to remaster God of War Betrayal? What? Huh? You know the phone game? Yeah. I'm waiting for the They're going to remaster that. I'm waiting for the AC know. Bloodlines remaster. So I'm saying. <laughs> when we get in that one, huh? Come on, Chief. There's a God of War heavy metal, official heavy metal soundtrack. Is there really? Well, uh, Trivium played, uh, for made the theme for God of War 3. I was going to say, it would make sense. Uh, God of War Blood and Metal. That's such a fucking dank name. What was the name of the song? You know what? Uh, you know what remaster I really want. What? Dante's what? Inferno. I would actually buy that. That would be dope. Bring back the multiplayer. Hell yeah! That's what I like Premium to hear. Albums. What is it? Trials Shogun. of Saint Lucia. Something like that. Something stupid like that. Oh, special edition. It was, um, shit. I cannot find any sales, so I'm ending my search there. <laughs> well, there we are. Sounds good. Good job, Waves. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Should we move on to our final topic of the night, boys? Yeah. Works sure. for me. Um,. This week, as last week, we talked about what? Uh, Last of Us um, for HBO. Mm-hmm. And then we got started about talking about all the video game movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this week, I think it was like Wednesday or Thursday this week, Uncharted <laughs> movie trailer hit. Uh, did you guys watch it? Nope. Yeah. Okay, Waves, what do you think? I mean... Looks like a good, like, popcorn movie. Don't watch the trailer if you haven't yet, because it introduces a character and introduces that character's uh, betraying you later in the the movie. Which is stupid. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, But, I mean... Did did he say what treasure to go for? I still don't see. Or is it, like, a whole new adventure? It it looks like it's an amalgamation of, like, all the Uncharted games. Okay, that's what I thought, because we had the whole uh, plane scene. Yeah, up the plane. Three. yeah and then i think that one girl's supposed to be um what's her name nadine chloe yeah yeah chloe where did i get nadine from and i don't think chloe was in uncharted 3 i might be wrong though yeah i think she was she was yeah yeah i, I think she but she was. seems to be playing more of a uncharted 2 chloe fraser mm-hmm. um character more than anything and then this is supposed to be like a prequel kind of to all the Uncharted games, so Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but you got like stuff from all the games in this like it looked like a little bit from Uncharted Four, Uncharted mm-hmm. Three, Uncharted <laughs> Uncharted Two. Uh they must have been listening to our podcast because we were literally just talking about that and then, <laughs> and then they released the trailer. I mean to me Tom Holland still doesn't look like Nathan Drake. Nathan all. Drake. I still no. feel like Nathan Fillion should have played him. I agree. Um, um what's his Mark name? Mark Wahlberg uh, does not. He does. He's not Sully. Like I no. just can't. <laughs> like, he doesn't I even see, have the mustache. <laughs> like I'm watching. Like uh, who was it? Uh, Brian from PS5 Trophy. Oh, this game looks hype. Uh, or this movie looks so hype. I can't wait to go see it. I'm sitting there. I'm like, eh. I'm like, 
I like Uncharted, but these your main characters don't remind me of the main characters. Yeah, Mar the, when I heard Mark Wahlberg was playing Sully and he didn't even have the mustache, I was like, what? Like, first, like, no mustache, like, excuse me. And then second, Mark Wahlberg? Like, what? Like, maybe if they you're playing, got, like, like, a it... younger Sully, like, maybe. But, like, that's not even what's happening. Like, I think it's supposed to be a younger Sully. But... Yeah, but not, like, like that even young. Even young Sully in, like, Uncharted 3 had a mustache. Had the mustache. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. I, I don't. Who's directing this thing? The only thing this trailer um, made me want to do was go back and play, like, the Nathan Drake collection. That was it. Yeah, I actually redownloaded that because of it. <laughs> See? That's the but, only uh, thing I got from this. I'm like, hey, I want to redo, like, the Nathan Drake collection. I'll probably watch it just because, like, it does look like dumb fun, like a dumb fun movie, so. I will not see it in theaters, so. Damn, you ain't about I'll it? I'll probably see it in theaters. Well, if you see it in theaters, theaters, let me know. And then once you tell me you hate it, then I'll wait for it to come out on DVD. I'll go and see it and, and fall asleep. I'll watch it and I'll just laugh at how stupid it is because that's how it was when I watched the new Venom movie and that's how it was when I watched Rise of, Rise of Skywalker. So. Oh, Rise of Skywalker sucked. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I'll just laugh at it. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, shit. I did watch the new trailer for the new Resident Evil movie though too this week uh just yesterday I, actually i have a little more faith for that movie than i do the uncharted movie but i still mm -hmm. don't have like a lot of faith for it. i ca i like that they're going back to the mansion they're actually doing the mansion in the new resident evil so that's kind of cool it just looks stupid <laughs> like, it looks stupid like yes. why are they the, the the cgi looks stupid it looks like they're just mashing re2 and one together for no reason right that's i thought the same thing because the was it welcome to raccoon city is the name of the movie or something yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, and like Leon right. and all of them are supposed to be in it when Leon yeah. wasn't and Claire weren't in first Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah, but yet so the why mansion. are they going into the mansion? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I mean, whatever. But the I, I, I don't fucking ever badass. expect I... a, the only like video game to TV slash movie adaptation that I have any faith in is in, on on the Last of Us one. Yes. All the other but, ones, I, I don't think they'll be that good. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Uh, like, like I said last week, I have no hope for Borderlands. <laughs> I especially have no hope for that one. <laughs> Anyone that does is lost. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about everything that came out. I was like, man, we just talked about all this. While I was looking up the top, I was like, but I kind of want to talk about the Uncharted movie because I was hoping everybody's seen it. But... Eh, I'm not too excited for the intro movie. It just makes me want to play the games. That's it. I just want to watch. It. I just want to watch it because you know, like, it's a movie. It's a game franchise to a movie, and I just want to see if like maybe it's a dumpster fire. <laughs> it looks like it's Kinda gonna like Doom. be. So that's why I want to watch it. Yeah, like Doom. <laughs> uh, how bad it and that be. newest Doom that newest Doom movie was worse than the like old one. <laughs> yeah. What's it called? Doom Annihilation or something. Yeah. Didn't Dead Space have like an animated movie? Those were good though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it tends to be that when they're animated, they're actually pretty good. Nothing beats Castlevania yet. <laughs> yeah. I mean the animation I feel like is gonna be better. Like what Wave said. But that's all I have, guys. And I know this this podcast is kind of short. We're only at like an hour 48. Yeah, we didn't have the topics this week. Honestly, we talked about it last week. The, mm -hmm. the, it's, these months it's are kind of right dry. Now. Yeah, they're kind of dry until like the new year. So we're just going to be... These might be shorter mm -hmm. episodes. And we are getting close to our one year anniversary, though, so we should come up with ideas of what we should do for that. Um, we're going to be talking about our least favorite trophy in our collection. <laughs> oh, least okay, favorite so Marvel's Avengers, got it. Least favorite platinum trophy that you've ever earned. I don't know. Mine will be the gold gold. I mean, the gold from Dark Week. Don't lie. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna be between uh, Watch Dogs Legion, Control, or Marvel's Avengers. 
I don't know. We could. Uh, I mean, we still have to do our. We still have to do our. Uh, kill zone. Kill zone. Shadowfall. Stream at some point. I don't know how long that's going to take, but yeah, we have to do that. What we should do, since we talked about it, I'm pretty sure in our first episode, is one of us just finally play Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, I played it before on an OG no. PS4. On an OG oh, PS4. I don't got that. What you mean? So, I don't got one either. So that means that it sounds like it's you. Huh? <laughs> you still got your OG PS4, right? Um, it's somewhere. Yeah, don't you use that as a Netflix machine down there? It's somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere, though. It's in the corner over there. I can see it from here. No, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. I ain't trying to torch it, okay? <laughs> Y'all trying to torch my, my, my PS4? That thing's a collector's item. Your face ah, it'll be fine. You got like 30 item. of them. 30? Who's got that? Yeah, those are got like 10 trillion PS4s. And you know like I mean, like, does it p- matter now? You know, you got a PS5. That shit's backwards compatible. Right. I got I got that many PS3s. I don't know about PS4. <laughs> it's all like you're making excuses now. No, no. Not I. I would never. I'm I'm the most honest person there is. That's a lie. <laughs> Wait, why'd you well, boys. I say we wrap it up. Well, yeah. You always want to wrap it up because you don't want a mini-me running around. No, uh, that's not what I mean. Don't be silly, oh, always wrap your willy. You, wait, what did you mean by wrap it up then, Waze? Alright. Let's wrap the episode up. Oh. Uh, I do have I do have one motiva- uh, thing to say, though. Motivational speech? No. Nah. What is uh, it? Salt is just angry sugar. What? Salt is just angry sugar. What, why would you say that? Because they're <laughs> the same thing, only one's angrier than the other. Is there sodium in chloride in sugar? I have fucking no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, we just got all like scientific on this shit. God damn, it was just a joke. <laughs> it was just a joke, bro, it was just a joke. I thought he was going somewhere with it, I was just curious. No, nowhere. I thought I'd show up a stupid remark. Right. Sugar. And spice and everything nice. No, not contents. Sugar scientific thingy. Scientific name. I'm curious now. Well, my (laughs) advice is to recently play your recent games that you recently picked up with your recent money at the recent store that's recently by your recent house. Well, if we didn't pick up any recent games. Well, you should recently go pick some recent games up then. My money. advice to you boys is go to your recent store that recently opened at your recent neighborhood to get a recent copy of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance on the recent PS3 that you bought recently at the recent store with your recently earned money that you got from re- your recently a- obtained job. So like that you can play it almost recent to your prior time playing it i can't go to my recent store my recent neighborhood my roads are flooded right now well tell the recent roads to recently unflood so you can go to your recently released store by your recent neighborhood (laughs) so you can get your recent game (laughs) go get your recently acquired recent um boat that you recently acquired from the recent (laughs) boat store (laughs) Tell the recently fl- flooded roads that they need to recently unflood so you can recently go to the recent store to buy your recent game with your recent money from your recently job that they recently send you on your recent paycheck so you can get a recent game to play on your recent PS3 recently soon. Okay. There, problem Sounds solved. Good. There we go. Thanks for solving that for me, boys. Oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> I figured we could help you out a little bit. <laughs> Uh, and don't forget, people, get your 50-piece chicken nugget from Wendy's for 10 for $10. So, by the way, there is no sodium or chloride in sugar. So. Well, that's nice. I'm going to go cry myself to sleep. <laughs> hey, Sniggle, you should stream. Hell no. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Bro, 
Hell no. Like this video if you think Snickle should stream every night. Huh? And on weekends. And weekends. He should do a 24-hour stream soon, too. Yo, I was mentioned yesterday. Yo, wild. Yo, wild, wild. I'll stay with you. I will stay up to a point. (laughs) I'm falling asleep when that point happens. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck, we're... Well, that's never gonna happen now. The second What's wave. Be... The second it What's... says waves left has left the chat. I'm leaving the chat too. What should be like one night I don't sleep the entire night. <laughs> Dang. That now it should have been the night then. <laughs> All right, All right. Boys. let's wrap it up. Don't pee into chlorine. I'm okay. gonna recently shit out my recent food. You had a salad again? I did, actually. 